Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paint. And what we're doing today is one of the most popular projects you can do with the Plasti Dip and Dip Your Car products, which is changing the color of the emblems, trim, or grill on your vehicle. Now this is a very inexpensive and easy project for almost anyone to do. And when you take that chrome OEM trim or emblems on your vehicle and you change the color of them to say black, for example, completely changes the look and the attitude of the vehicle. You'd be really surprised how much of a difference that can make. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through a full step-by-step -step tutorial guide from beginning to end on how to dip your trim, emblems, and grill. Enjoy the video. Now what we're working on today is an Infiniti G35 sedan, a very common vehicle, something that a lot of you guys can hopefully relate to. Now on this car, it comes with OEM factory chrome on the grill, the emblems, and a little bit of trim on the back spoiler lip. We're gonna be changing the color of all those pieces today to black using the emblem and grill kit from dipyourcar.com. Now I'm gonna go over with you the materials that we're gonna be using in today's project. Now right here we have two cans of black Plasti Dip aerosol. This should be more than enough product to do the trim and emblems that we're working on today. Make sure we get enough coverage and enough coats for durability and peelability with these two cans. You've got your spudger tool here, which we'll show you uh, in detail a little bit later in the project the microfiber towel, and the blue painter's tape. Right here, everything that you see is included in the emblem and grill kit from Dip Your Car. You also see some other materials here. You see the DYC pre-dip spray. This is what we're gonna be using to make sure that we clean and prep all the areas that we're working on so that they're ready to adhere to the Plasti Dip and get proper bonding there. Tape and drape, which is going to really cover large areas of the car to make sure that we protect the car from overspray. And we have our respirator here. You always want to make sure that you're using the proper protection when using these products. Now, these here are all included in the, the emblem and grill kit at Dip Your Car. These materials here can all be added to the emblem and grill kit if you don't have them handy. Now, let's jump into the project. The first step is going to be cleaning all the areas that we're going to be working on. Now, the first thing we need to do is clean the areas that we're going to be working on really really well. You don't want any dirt, debris, oil, grease, wax, anything on those areas at all. And the pre-dip spray is going to do that job for you. Now, rule of thumb is never dip a car that has been washed within the last 12 hours. Because no matter how well you think you drive the car, there could still be moisture trapped in some of those cracks and areas, and the dip will not bond where there is moisture. So make sure if you just wash your car, you give it a day to completely dry out. Now we're gonna use the pre-dip spray. We're gonna be working on this front grill and emblem area. Now we're not gonna spray the pre-dip directly onto the grill because we don't wanna saturate the grill with too much liquid because we won't be able to get it dried off. So you're gonna take your microfiber towel from your kit, you're gonna mist it with the pre-dip spray and you're gonna focus on the grill one square inch at a time. Don't just take it and start wiping it away. Really systematically break the area down. So what I would do is focus on this top little line right here. Use your fingernail to make sure that you clean all the way to the edges. Then work down to the next one. And you're gonna work your way all the way around. And as soon as you start feeling the towel get dry, give it a nice little mist again. So we're already pulling off some dirt and some stuff off this grill. Even though it looks clean, you wanna make sure everything is removed. <clears throat> After we're done cleaning the grill, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the emblems and then the spoiler lip in the back. Now we're gonna start cleaning off the emblems and the spoiler lip here. Now this is the first of many areas where your spudger tool is going to come in handy because you've got these emblems, and if you look inside this N on the infinity, there's a really sharp little angle in there. Now, I don't care who you are, but with your finger and a towel, you're not gonna be able to get down in between that crack. And it is very important to make sure everything is super clean. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your microfiber, you're gonna mist it down, then take the flat end of your spudger tool underneath your microfiber towel. That will allow 
you to get all the way down into each tight little area. Make sure you clean out any of the debris or wax or whatever happens to be left over in there. Because you don't want to spend all your time and effort on this project and get anything but a perfect result. Now we've got the majority of our cleaning out of the way and we're going to move on to masking now. Now I like to do one more quick wipe down with the towel and the pre-dip after masking right before we spray, but I like to get the majority of the cleaning up first just in case the car or the pieces that we're working on are extra dirty. Now when we come in to start masking the car in the areas that we're working on, you're going to grab your blue painter's tape. Now, one of the beautiful, unique things about dipping is that unlike paint, you don't have to be a pro. You don't have to have precision masking abilities. Now, if we were painting this grill, not only would it be permanent and not peelable and removable like dip is, but we would have to be perfect with our masking to be able to get that tape exactly on the edge between the spot that we're actually dipping and the body of the car. But with dip, it's automatically going to use this gap between the body of the car and the grill to cut itself. So what we're going to do is bring the masking back about an inch and a half to two inches away from the area that we're going to be dipping. So all the way around this grill, you're going to see the masking tape backed off about an inch or two all the way around. Now you might ask if you've never used dip before why we would do that. And again, that's because the dip is going to cut itself. When we spray the grill, we're actually going to spray our coats all the way up onto the body of the car, all the way outside. You'll see the frame that we build with our masking tape. And then when we're done, when we have our six coats on there and they're dry, we're going to peel up the masking tape and we're also going to be able to peel the spot in the area that's actually on the body of the car. And again, the dip is going to automatically cut itself away. So we have a perfect line and a perfect edge all the way around the grill. It's very, very cool. Excited to show you that part of the video. So I'm going to keep masking now and we'll show you when we're all done. Now we're all done masking here as far as building our frame. And you can see that we've framed out the grill completely without any real skill set or precision. We just backed away about an inch or two all the way around the surface that we're working on. That's all it's going to take. Now you have some options here. You want to protect the outside areas from overspray. Now if overspray from Plasti Dip gets on the car, it's just as simple as buffing it off with your microfiber towel. However, even though there's no serious consequence, we want to be clean and tidy and we want to make sure that the breakdown of the whole project is as easy as possible. Now you can use newspaper, things like that. Uh, there's really no magic here. However, what we like to use is the tape and drape. What tape and drape is, is it's plastic sheeting with uh, essentially painter's tape already attached to it. And what you're able to do is go right up against the blue painter's tape, the frame that you created, and you're gonna use the, the tape and drape and you're going to use the tape and drape to essentially mask around the frame. Then you're going to pull down the plastic and as you can get the idea here when we're done everything that's not going to be sprayed around the grill is going to be completely protected from overspray. So we're going to continue doing this masking process um, around the grill here and then we're going to go back to the emblems as well. Now one thing we need to cover, if you choose to spray your grill, you have to keep in mind that as you're driving air, and in this case overspray, is able to pass through your grill. Now on the other side of that grill, there's things in there that we really don't want to get overspray on, specifically or for an example, your radiator. So if you choose to spray your grill, one of the things you may want to do, and every vehicle here is different, is you may want to either take off some of these plastic covers, or if you're comfortable, maybe you can Google this for your specific vehicle, you want to be able to get access to behind the grill to protect the radiator. In this case, this plastic cover comes off and we have total access here to get masking material from behind the grill to protect the radiator. So what we're going to do is fill 
this area completely behind the grill with brown masking paper and then double check every angle to make sure that any overspray going through the grill is stopped before it touches any other parts of your car. Again, this is different for every vehicle, but something you really want to keep in mind if you choose to spray your grill. Now, here we have the rear of the car. We've got the area around the spoiler lip framed out. We've got a frame around each one of the logos and emblems. And remember, the Plasti Dip is going to cut itself just using the gap between the body of the car and the emblem itself. Imagine if you were painting these, the painstaking amount of masking it would take to protect the body of the car from the paint. It would almost be impossible. That's why so many people use Plasti Dip for this application. Now we did take the pre-dip spray and the microfiber towel and go one more time around everything because you are touching things as you're masking them and we want to make sure that all the emblems and the letters and everything are perfectly clean. So now it's time to spray. We got our first can of black Plasti Dip spray. Obviously you want to make sure that you shake it up really well. One of the most important things to do is your first coat is just going to be a light tack coat. You're just going to be dusting the areas. Don't go too heavy, too fast, or you're not going to get the finish that you're looking for. So your first coat is going to be a, a nice light mist. I've got my respirator here. We're going to begin. Now, every single coat that you spray, you have to make sure that you're not just focusing on the letters or the logo. You want to completely spray everything that you framed out because when we're done, you're going to go ahead and peel away what's inside that frame from the body of the car and you want it to be thick and you want it to be strong so that it peels nice and clean. Let's go lay our first tack coat on the grill. Now after your first tack coat is completely dry, and believe me, you want to let every single coat dry completely before you start your next one. We're going to be building up to six or seven coats minimum. You want to make sure you have the durability for the product to stay on there a long period of time. And of course this product is peelable and removable. So you want to make sure you have enough product built up so when it's time to peel it off, it peels off nice and easy. So after your first tack coat, all other coats you're going to try and wet out, which means you're not going to go too heavy. You don't want it to be globbed on there or dripping off, but you want to try and look at the surface and make sure that the area is wetting out. If you're too far away, you can end up with a texture or an uneven surface. If you're too close, you can end up globbing the product up, which can cause all sorts of uh, different issues. So just try to pay attention to my distance and my speed. There is a lot of forgivability here. It's not like an exact science but you want the best result possible. Now one thing to keep in mind as you move through your second all the way to your sixth or your seventh coat, you gotta make sure that you're changing the angle that you're spraying on each coat because you don't wanna just keep spraying forward and getting the face of each one of the letters every time because then you won't get any product on the sides or any of these angles. So what I like to do is my first wet coat, I'll come at it straight. Then my next coat, I'll come at it with just a little bit of an angle from the left. Then the next coat, a little bit of an angle from the right. The next one, a little bit of an angle from the bottom. And that way, when I'm done, I've gotten a nice wet coating and an even coating on all the different surfaces and angles of all these different shapes. So time for our second coat now.
Time for our second coat on the grill. Same thing, we're gonna be wetting it out, and each time that we do a coat, we're gonna change our angle a little. For every coat, make sure you make a mental note to not only coat the areas that we're focusing on, but the body of the car as well. You want the areas that we're peeling to be nice and thick and strong. Now we've got our six coats on there. We waited a full hour to let it dry. We really want to make sure that the Plasti Dip is completely dry because if you go in to peel too early, the Plasti Dip is going to be too soft and the removal process, as far as your framework, is going to be a lot more difficult. So we gave it an hour to dry. What we're going to do is remove the outside masking just so we can get an area to start on. And now we're going to focus on one section at a time removing the Plasti Dip around the frame. You don't want to just go in there recklessly and start yanking it off. You really want to try and take your time because you want to utilize the Plasti Dip on the outside here to cut that separation. And you see how I'm being very careful? I'm using my fingers underneath to push the Plasti Dip up and out of the cracks down there. I'll get this tape and drape out of the way. We're pushing it up and out of the crack. I applied it at an angle here, nice and thick, just to make sure that I've got nice thick coverage all the way around, so I'm not leaving anything behind there. You wanna kinda of take the tape with you so you're not fighting against it. And just use your finger to help guide the Plasti Dip up and out of that crack. You're gonna work your way all the way around the grill, nice and slow, there's no reason to rush it. You've already got the hard part out of the way. And if you applied it thick enough around these edges, you should have absolutely no problem at all removing it nice and clean. And there you go. Your entire grill is Plasti dipped. You've got nice clean lines all the way around. Nice smooth color change across the grill. So you're just gonna remove the rest of your masking. Check for any overspray. Again, if any overspray did get through your masking, just use your microfiber towel. No chemicals are needed or anything. You can just buff it right off. So let's clean up the front here. We're gonna go behind, remove the masking paper from behind the grill put everything back the way that it was, and we're gonna go finish up the back of the car. Now we're gonna start working on these infinity letters here and the logo. It's the same process as up front. We're gonna remove the large masking areas so that we can get an exposed edge of the Plasti Dip. And we're gonna start working our way around the letters. Again, take your time. You've already spent time on spraying everything, so Make sure you get the removal down properly. So just lift the Plasti Dip up and around each one of the letters and it'll automatically cut out around the edges of the letters or numbers or whatever you happen to have. Now smaller areas like around the inside of this N is where your spudger tool is going to come in handy. You're going to lift up the dip from around the outside of the letter and then just use the spudger tool to help Bring the Plasti Dip up nice and careful along the inside and it'll pop out nice and clean. That way you don't leave anything on the inside of those letters.
Now for the Infinity logo, same thing, remove the masking on the outside, get an exposed edge, and just work your way around the logo. This is why it's so important to not just spray the logo itself, but get good coverage, thick coverage, around the frame of the logo. Now you've got your infinity letters and your logo here perfectly masked off, perfectly clean edged. It would be very, very difficult to do that with paint, but with Plasti Dip, anyone can really do this themselves. So we're gonna use the same technique, clean up all the way around the spoiler lip and the G35, and we'll show you when we're all cleaned up. Now this was a fun and relatively easy project. Almost anyone can change the color of their grill or their emblems using DYC products, and it's not just black. We have dozens and dozens of colors and finishes for you to choose from, from pinks, purples, white, metallics, uh, pearls, gloss finishes, you name it, it's probably there and available for you. And these are just a couple examples of the parts of your car that you can change the color of using DYC materials. Anything from your window trim, your wheels, and of course the entire body of your car. If this is the first DYC video that you've seen, please dive into our channel. We've got hundreds of different dipping videos think you're going to be very, very surprised with all the things you can do with the DYC products. Everything you saw us use today is available for you directly at dipyourcar.com. There's a link down at the bottom of the screen. It will take you right to the emblem and grill kit and include all the materials that we used in today's project. But if you have any questions at all, email customer service at dipyourcar.com or call in to our customer service team. There'll be somebody there to answer all of your questions for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. It's Fonzie, I'll see you on the next video.